Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your KDE desktop look from something like this to almost exactly like Rhode Linux. So it can be done in any distribution with a KDE desktop like Kubuntu, Manjaro, KDE or KDE Neon. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all you need to download this karuda.zip file from the link in the description box below and after you have downloaded it you need to extract it and you will see a bunch of folders and files. Now you need to copy the contents of fonts folder and go to your home directory and create a new folder named .fonts and you need to press ctrl plus h to reveal hidden files if you haven't already and paste the contents of fonts in that folder. After that click on system settings and then go to appearance and go to the global theme and then click on get new global themes and download and install the sweet KDE theme. Now click on application styles and then click on configure gtk themes. Now you need to download the gtk theme for suite as well and you need to apply that theme. Now go to window decorations and then click on title bar buttons and after that you need to align your window buttons to the left and you can also remove the unnecessary buttons if you don't like. Now click on fonts and then click on adjust all fonts and then select the Fira Sans font and after that select the style as regular and then you can set the font size according to your display for me 11 is perfect Now click on icons and now you need to download a new icon called beauty line. After you have downloaded it, you need to apply the beauty line icons. Now go to the splash screen section and you need to set the splash screen to sweet and if you don't want a splash screen at the startup then you can set it to none. Now click on workspace behavior and then go to desktop effects and search for wobbly windows. Now you need to enable wobbly windows and you need to uncheck the remove while resizing and after that you need to search for magic lamp and you need to enable magic lamp as well now you can set the effect duration to around 200 to 300 milliseconds
now click on screen edge and set the action of top left corner to the no action Now you can also set the startup and shutdown theme to sweet as well if you prefer. Now you need to open your terminal and type sudo pacman-s or sudo apt install kvantum-qt5 to download the kvantum manager. and. For Ubuntu distributions, if Kvantum Qt5 is not found, then you can also download and install it from the Discover Store. So after you have installed the Kvantum Manager, then you need to open your web browser and search for Sweet Kvantum Theme. And after that, you need to download the Sweet Kvantum Theme and extract it. Now after you have finished extracting the theme you need to open Kvantum manager and you need to select the Kvantum folder. Select the folder which we just extracted earlier and after that click on change active theme and now you need to select the theme which we just installed. Now open your system settings again and then go to appearance and then click on application style and select the application style as Gavantum Dark so we are done for the theming part now it's time to configure our latte dock and our top panel now you need to install latte dock key decorations and plasma 5 dash applets dash window dash buttons and if this window buttons is giving you errors like not found then you can also install them from the widget store later Now you need to right click on your panel and click on add widgets and now you need to download new widgets and you need to download widgets named window titles and window buttons. Only download window buttons if it gave you error in the installation from terminal. Now open your latte dock. Now right click on your latte dock and click on configure latte. 
go to the layouts editor and select import and then click on import from file now you need to select the dragonize layout which was extracted from the garuda.zip file and then click on apply and select the dragonized layout and click on switch now you can remove the old KD panel Now make sure that these settings for your widgets are similar to mine. Now go to the top left and right click on it and click on configure application menu and as you can see we don't have any icon so you can give it an icon anything you like since I'm using Arch Linux I'm going to give it Arch icon now configure window title and make sure that your settings are similar to mine Now right click on the top panel and click on add widgets and now you need to search for global menu and you need to add the global menu widget. As you can see we get a global menu for every application we open. Now as you can see we have uh, two window buttons whenever we maximize our application. So we are going to remove the window buttons of the application itself. Now go to system settings and then window management and then go to kwin and download new kwin script. Search for hide and download this script called hide title and you need to apply this script. After applying that Kevin script, now you will see that you won't get this title bar when you maximize this window. Now you can remove this unwanted application from the latter doc and you can add your own favorite applications in your latter doc. Now we are going to configure our terminal and shell. By default Garuda Linux uses fish shell. So open your terminal and download fish. You can type sudo apt install fish or sudo pacman s fish depending on your distribution. And after fish is installed type chsh s slash usr slash bin slash fish. Garuda Linux also uses Starship prompt so open your web browser and search for Starship Linux click on the first link and follow the install instructions to install the Starship prompt
now we are going to configure our terminal so for that click on settings and then click on configure console now go to profiles and create a new profile named Garuda set this profile as default and then go to command and set the command as slash bin slash fish and then click on apply now go to appearance and select the font as Vira Mono Nerd font and set your font size according to your preference now click on edit and enable the background blur and set the black background transparency to about 15 percent now click on your terminal settings at the top again and go to the toolbar shown and uncheck the both toolbars now close your terminal and go to the directory where we have extracted the garuda.zip file here you will see the fish folder and starship file you need to copy the fish folder and starship file and go to your home directory and go into dot config folder and you need to paste those files and folder in that directory and now if you open your terminal you will see that your terminal is exactly like the terminal of Garuda Linux Now our last step is to change the wallpaper. If you have extracted the garuda.zip folder you will see the wallpaper file as well. Now you need to set the wallpaper to that wallpaper and our process is complete. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found this helpful and if you did please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel, thank you.